A little birdie told me that you want to lose some weight. Well, you have come to the right place. So unfortunately, yes, you are going to need to diet and exercise, but here are some weird things that I did. Well, they're not really that weird, but things you wouldn't think of that actually really help you lose weight. You have probably heard people say that this is something that you're not gonna just do this for six months and be done with it. This is a literal lifestyle change. Well, guess what? They're right, it is. So something that really helped me stick with this and get into a really good routine is making the shift from thinking this is something temporary into something permanent, being appearance focused to health focused. When I started, I literally committed to going to the gym, guess how many times a week? twice. And those two times a week that I would go, when I was on the Stairmaster dying and gasping for air, I said to myself, this is not for your appearance. This is literally for your health. It actually was for my health. The reason I had to lose weight, I had no other choice is because my hormones were all messed up. And my doctor told me I literally have to lose weight or I'm going to become diabetic. It quite literally was health related to me more than appearance. But making that mindset shift literally changed everything. It got me to eventually start liking working out because trust me, I didn't like working out at first. I don't think anybody does. Got me into a good routine. Eventually I started going to the gym more days a week. And more importantly, I actually started to enjoy working out. Working out affects your physical appearance eventually, but it does wonders for your mental health. If you make it based on changing your appearance, you're gonna do it for two months and give up because that's quite literally just too little of a time to see a huge difference in your appearance. This is to live a healthier life because you're important and you matter and you deserve to have a healthy life. That's why it's a lifestyle that you're now going to stick to. Now the next tip that I have that helped me lose weight is get an addicting hobby. Yes, get an addicting hobby. When I initially lost weight, I lost 20 pounds in one year. And then the following year, COVID hit. So the gyms were actually closed, as we all know. And a lot of people I know gained weight during COVID, but I somehow managed to stick to a routine and not boredom snack. So I actually lost more weight during COVID, even though we were all in quarantine and the gyms were closed. And people were asking me, Maria, how did you do it? What's your secret? I told them my secret is... Animal Crossing came out and you need two hands to play Switch so I can't have my hand in a bag of chips. That's my secret. I got addicted to video games. I know this to be true. My friends have definitely said this to me also. Sometimes you're so busy that you forget to eat. Many people are emotional eaters or boredom eaters. I've definitely been there. So find a hobby that is addicting that you actually love. And bonus points, if it is an active hobby, like I also love to dance. I love to shuffle. I play tennis. I play volleyball. I could literally spend hours doing it. If I'm busy playing volleyball, I'm not snacking. And then all of a sudden I look at my Fitbit and I hit my 10,000 steps for the day and I didn't even notice. Getting a hobby is like a hack because the point is you want to make your life as easy as possible. It's not easy to lose weight at all in the first place. So you just want to make it as easy as possible on yourself. You want to stick to whatever food and whatever fitness routine that you put yourself on that works for your body and not go over your macros and not overeat whatever it is that you're doing. And you want to just take food off the pedestal. Find other things that bring you joy and that can distract you because when you start losing weight yes you're going to be a little bit hungry and it's hard when you have to start taking certain things away or like cutting down on foods that you like to eat so a new hobby or a healthy hobby definitely works trust me next thing that i did that really helped is me and my best friend were going to lose weight at the same time so we became accountability partners and we were like strict accountability partners. If you can find a friend that's serious about losing weight together or whatever your fitness goal is together, it really is a game changer. And granted, yeah, like me and my friend went kind of hard, but it did work. We decided whatever I was doing for my food and my fitness and whatever she was doing 
for her food and her fitness. We wrote down on a note every single day, our breakfast, our lunch, our dinner, and then our workout if we worked out that day. And we rated ourselves on our workout, how well we think our workout went and how well that we stick to our food for the day. And you have to be honest, like, oh, I had a bag of chips. Oh, I had a slice of cake. Like you have to be honest, write it on there. And then you give yourself a score at the end of the day. And we literally used to send each other the note every single day to keep each other accountable. And obviously, yeah, like it got annoying within a month, like sending each other a note every single day with what we ate. But in that month, it really helped to build a good habit. You definitely don't have to do this forever. And eventually I actually ended up hiring a nutrition coach, but you totally don't need to do that. It's not necessary. But in that month, I built really good habits and then you just get into a routine and it's not as hard to keep track of everything anymore. It just becomes a part of your lifestyle. And at the end of the day, that's what you want. You need to make this as easy for yourself as possible because Losing weight is just not easy to do in the first place. It's really not. It took me two years to lose 40 pounds, but you really shouldn't get discouraged by how long it takes you because at the end of the day, I'm so much happier now. Like even if it took me two years, I'm so much happier and healthier now. Thank God I started when I did. If you don't have an accountability partner, you can join my community here on YouTube and we can help you find one. The Discord for the community is coming soon. So you can check the bio below for that. The last thing that really helped me me is affirmations. That's right. You are going to get your mind right, not just your body. In fact, I think your mind has to be right first before your body follows. Repeat after me. You have an amazing body that does amazing things. Repeat that to yourself as many times as you need. And especially if you catch yourself comparing your body to somebody else, because at the end of the day, you don't know how long they've been working out, what their hormones are like, what their routine and stress levels are like. And more more importantly, if their body looks too good to be true, it probably is. Like I was actually completely oblivious to the amount of people that get work done, get lipo done. I realized on my fitness journey that I was literally chasing something unattainable, like actually unattainable. So do not, for the love of God, believe everything you see online. Seriously, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Like even today, I'm happy with my body, but it's certainly not perfect. It takes time to grow muscle and it takes time to lose fat. And genetics have a big part in it as well. There's definitely people out there with great genetics, but there is also people out there that have plenty of money to spend on their appearance as well. As cliche as this sounds, comparison is the killer of joy. And honestly, when you're starting to have those low moments of you comparing yourself and you're almost wanting to give up, like why is it happening for this person and not for me? Those are when the biggest break breakthroughs happen. So do not give up on those low moments and honestly, don't even let yourself get there in the first place. If you can avoid it, avoid it. Repeat this affirmation that I just told you again, I have an amazing body that does amazing things and any other affirmations that you can find that are body positive and it will keep your mind more body positive and in a state of gratitude so the rest of your body can catch up to what we're doing with it. I've been doing fitness for a long time now, I would say. I have tracked macros before, I've done intuitive eating. I do CrossFit currently. I've done my own workouts at a gym consistently for years on my own. I've done just running. I've definitely tried a lot of different methods. I've failed at plenty of things and that's how I've learned. But I am primarily a meditation and manifestation coach. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, the link will be down below for the website and you can look out for the Discord link as well. Thank you guys for watching.